Would you know what to do to help stop someone from potentially bleeding to death, whether from a mass shooting or perhaps an accident? A group of Texas medical students is trying to make sure that you are confident in the steps to take when a life is on the line. Tiffany Huertas with what they want you to know. This is a serious uh, public health concern that we have the opportunity to respond to. Medical students from UT Health San Antonio set up sites across the city to inform the public about what to do if they see someone bleeding. It started last year in 2018 by um, a few students in Houston who um, just pulled, to, pulled it together, saw the need, and um, now we've gotten funding from the Texas College of Emergency Physicians to expand the program. So this year it's much bigger than last. The students are part of a medical student-led nonprofit organization called Lone Star Survival Tourniquet Training. Medical student Meredith Hosek says the need stems from the rise in mass shootings and other violent events in our communities. There have been um, an increased interest in learning how to do it with the recent occurrences. Medical student Christopher Zhu shows us how to properly put on a tourniquet. You want to keep direct pressure on for 10 minutes as the blood is going to be soaking through whatever cloth you're using. If after 10 minutes your patient is still bleeding and um, an EMS has not arrived yet, then that's when you move towards a tourniquet. And so you have this loop here, you can unbuckle it real quick, this loop here with this uh, bevel here, and you simply put it over the arm and you want to get as close as you can to the, the center of the person's body. And so you tighten it, pretty easy mechanism. You tighten it like you would pretty much any strap, and then you wrap it around once this is secured. Thank you. And then you twist this lever here as tight as you possibly can. Don't worry, your patient will feel pain, but that's a lot better than any alternative, such as losing your life or your limb. And once it's tight enough, you lock it in place here in these notches right there. These kind of tourniquets were made um, and developed by the military um, and they were originally used in combat settings um, and were shown to be extremely effective in saving lives and saving limbs um, and now they're being more introduced into civilian settings. Um, it's something that maybe everyone should have in their house or every store should have um, just in case because you never know when you might need these. Now you can always buy a tourniquet, but students tell me you can also use a necktie or a belt or anything to tie around a wound. Now for more information, visit ksat.com slash news at nine. Myra.